Look at this guy. He's like, I think I have way too many beers. What's... Wh why did I do that? Oh, shit, my head. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. <coughs> Hello, <coughs> Welcome to the Himmel. Oh, he just want me to finish my intro first. In is in here. Welcome back to Hitman. Now we left off where I killed um Reza Zaydan. Welcome, sir. We are happy to help you in any way possible. I Reza Zaydan, Klaus Strandberg, and yeah, I pretty much ended up in Marrakesh. I was a security guard, and yeah, everything went my way. I hope you'll enjoy the Himipan. You know, what I'll enjoy most than him and him. Put you in the first. <laughs> he just fell straight down. You know, I want to do that again. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I want to do that to two more people. Wait, hang on. Let me kill- let, let, let me punch these people first. Let me punch them. <laughs> Wait, bitch, come back here. You're- you're- I'm gonna have a fun time punching you. Okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Welcome to- Yeah, thank you. Welcome to Bangkok. Yep, you're gonna greet me. You got punched in the nose. You got freaking punched in the nose. And you pretty much got bitch slapped on the stairs. And you're pretty much wiping up your own blood. I don't know how it got all the way over there, but it's supposed to be right here. But anyway, let's do it. Alright, security camera, yep. Definitely get rid of that. You know what's kind of weird? There's no guards. Especially in this little area, because you know, you expect to see somebody here. Got rat poison, I don't know how- I don't know how- I didn't really know, I just walked around aimlessly. Yeah, I just find it weird. Well, see, there's people down here, but, you know, not where I came in from. Because, you know, expect to see at least one person watching uh -huh. over the place. The, the girl on the side of me, that's why I almost got a little carried away. Okay, I need to go, 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 just freaking... Oh, crap. Crap! Uh, I hope it wasn't disgusting. No, it's just stupid. Someone left their wallets in their pockets. How did he not see that? <clears throat> did you keep them? Oh, what's that? I, just think well, I can't. I can't get it right now. Yeah, I always think it's weird how they forget their key cards. Yeah, rich people can be so dumb. Everything is disposable, even their key cards to their own rooms. <laughs> it's sad and ridiculous. Mind you, I would swap places with them in a minute. <laughs> yeah, me too. Maybe we should just keep the stuff we find. They probably wouldn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, except the key cards. I mean, those things are worthless to us. <laughs> Get your ass off, you motherfucker. Get him out of the way, because he talks too much, and yeah, I talk too much too. That's probably what you're thinking of, right? Yeah, that's me. I just talk too damn much. And yeah, you see, th there's just a lot of stuff to talk about for me, because you know, I may go on and on and on sometimes, but you know, it's just that's part of the commentary. You got to talk. I mean, I mean, even if it's like, like out of control talking, but still, that's pretty much what it's all about. Or you just want to be silent and you know just play through it and you know just talk at certain parts, but you know I'm just not really about that. That's not really my thing. How you doing, bud? You got an ear infection or something? Okay, I guess not. Okay. Alright, moving on. Oh, security camera. Yeah, I can't let anybody notice me on the camera. Especially notice me with a gun. Or a staff member having a gun. Whoa! I heard something. Oh yeah, those people about to sight me. I just wanted to get rid of it. Because, you know, I wanted to erase the evidence. Especially this evidence right here. Okay, got rid of it. Okay, now let's get out of here. Oh god, an enforcer. Oh, that must be the manager. Okay, yeah, I can understand if she's an enforcer because, you know, she's aware of all the people that work here, and yeah, she's probably been here way longer than half the people here. 
So you have a target, Ken Morgan, and Jordan Cross, which is up there. So yeah, they got a little bit of a story between each other. And you know what? Hang on. I'll try and make this as quick as I can. Uh, yeah, that's them right there. You pretty much already seen that. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna read this really quickly. Wow, talk about fast. This is probably even faster. Damn it. Who could read that fast? Damn. Now my throat hurts now. Did you hear somebody fart? I could have swore I heard somebody fart. Okay, that there's Ken. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate fixer. Of course, he's got a bodyguard, like pretty much every other target does. Look at him, he's like, don't look Greetings, at me. Greetings, manservant. Mr. Morgan, sir. When can I have my suite? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen suite is ready for you. Follow me. Well, that was <laughs> relatively fast. Oh, why, that's funny. Very well. Lead the way. All right. Oh, yes, yes. No, go on. Go on with your work. What? Okay, well, come on. Come on, fatty ginormous. Out of the way. Oh, wait, hang on. I got an enforcer here, and yeah, I cannot let them notice me while I'm trying to walk down the street. Walk down in a, not the street, in a hallway in Bangkok, Thailand, trying to escort Ken Morgan, his bodyguard, whoever the hell his name is, and yeah, without getting caught of being suspicious. I ain't got time for that for right now. Come on. Come on, Ken. You need to hit the gym because you are a little overweight. I'm just saying. I gotta figure out where the place is. It might be upstairs or like pretty much where Jordan Cross was, except he I think he's in the Emperor's suite. So yeah, this guy's basically a girl because he's going to the Queen's suite. I'm just saying. Oh, don't, hi. Please don't pat me down. I mean, yeah. Whoa. I was getting a little nervous there because the music stopped. That 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 always makes me nervous for some reason. I don't know why. All right, come on, Ket. Oh shit! <laughs> I got stuck. Here you go. Here no. we are. I trust everything is to your liking. Hmm. A definite improvement. Hardly the Bourg à l'Arabe. Let's take a closer look. Okay. I'm gonna make sure everything's clean for you, bud. Even if I have to wipe every smear off the floor. Boom. Done. Look. You didn't Stay even have vigilant, to... a definite improvement. Thank you. Now come on, let's move on before I have to kick you out of this place. Poison, well, I'm not a chef or a waiter, so I can't really do that because, you know, it's got that little exclamation point. So apparently you're aware. Okay, I don't really need to do that. Just some places where I feel like I need to blend in. You probably need to, like, yeah, like that. That's dust. I can't really let him notice that because, well, I'm going to lose my job if he does. Don't look at it right now, please. Don't. Touch the desk. Hmm. Yeah, I know. That's really weird, isn't it? It just automatically just disappeared. Oh, soda cans. Wait. Sorry about the... Sorry about the mess. Hey, you want a soda can? I don't want to throw it at him. No. <laughs> I ain't like some of those guys. Mm -hmm. I take my time... And, you know, I'm not really that harsh on some of um, the people uh, that play this game, but, you know. Ooh. A stain. Hurry up and get up before this guy has a, a freaking meltdown about my cleaning. Alright. Hurry up. No visible Okay, stain. can you please leave? Well, I'm sure there are leave. Hey, don't test me. To... One shouldn't be pick. <laughs> the, the hell is that? Is possible. You may leave. If there is anything else I can do, wait, hang on. Sir needs only to ask. I heard if you bump into them, don't push me, man. They'll stop and look at you, and yeah, you can easily get up behind them and do that. Ah! 
You know where I'm gonna put them? In the closet. I was gonna put them in the bathtub, but you can't do that. Or the hot tub or jacuzzi, whatever the hell it's called. Oh, you know what? I wanna be his bodyguard. Yeah, I knew he was gonna have that on his head because you know he's a, he's excuse me. He's more of aware of his other a bodyguard instead of me, the guy that has hair and not the guy with out hair. Sorry, I got the burst for some reason. Come here, bitch. Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Wait, look at him. He's like, oh god, I'm dead. Uh, please wake me up. <laughs> Damn, I'm amazed he could even lift them. Alright, now get the staff. Let's disguise back out so, you know, people will think I'm just a regular cleaning person and not some badass security or bodyguard that's just wandering around aimlessly trying to look for Ken Morgan. Just saying. Okay, now Jordan Cross. First, I gotta find out where he's at, though. I know he's upstairs, but he's probably, like, all the way upstairs. Okay, yeah, he's up there. He's, like, even more higher. So, yeah, I'll be right back. So, yeah, I had to come out here. It was, like, just around the corner. Because, you know, I wanted to test out some of the places you could go. And, yeah, I figured this would be a good way to do it. But, you know what? But, look, I'm trespassing for some reason. But weird, that's- the gardeners are allowed up here. I mean, there's no garden around here except down there. You might as well just jump through the glass and be like freaking Spider-Man. Or Spider-Plant. Just shoots plants out of his ass. What the hell kind of shit is that? At least I'm trespassing. It's not like I'm a hostile where they can just shoot me on sight. Or arrest me on sight. Because I know sometimes certain areas, you know, you're considered a hostile, like I said in the last video. You're considered a hostile or trespassing. If there's, like, civilians around with, like, some civilians, you're, you're, you're considered trespassing. I know if it's, like, all guards, that's a hostile. I know, that's weird, but <clears throat> that's how it is sometimes. Hang on. I want to try and shoot him. Or not really shoot the guy, but... Wait, hang on. He just took it out, or... God. And you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get one of the bodyguards to scuss. I know, I just did that, but you know what? I'm gonna get a different one. Oh, look at these guys. He's like, uh... Wait, like, uh... I, I stop moving. It's like, uh, I can't get up. Oh, I'm too drunk. Please help me. Oh, my head hurts too. Loose guy. It's like, I think I had way too many beers. What's... Wh why did I do that? Oh, shit, my head. <laughs> gotta shoot that camera, but I gotta let him pe or let him not see me first. I don't think these got Yeah, they're pretty much drunk or asleep. And, you know, they ain't really gonna... They ain't really gonna notice anything. Like, get rid of the... Or reload it. Or not... You know what? I take back about the bodyguard scars. I wanna do this Want all... In my hotel staff outfit. I heard you can get up there um, going through here and, you know, climbing up this pipe. Yeah, I know that's one way you can do it. Oh! Get down from there. Shh, God, he scared me. I won't get down, but I'll hang. The guy was like, what the hell did he go? Anytime now, man. It's like a bunch of shit happening right beside me. Monkeys, whatever the hell they're called, uh, bamboos, or baboons, whatever the hell they are. And yeah, they sound like they're really hungry. And so yeah, if I drop, I'm pretty much gonna drop dead. <sighs> yeah, I'm trespassing. So yeah, I'm not really considered a hostile. They'll pretty much just escort me out. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's still good because, you know, you can still, while they're walking you out, while they're walking you out of there, you can pretty much just go up behind them while nobody's looking and just subdue them. I mean, yeah, that's, that's not hard at all. Also known as old Sparky. Damn, this music is awesome. Yeah, well, why would Wes want to use a mic with an I could just, 
Shit. Oh god, get in the damn Which camp are you in? Accident or murder? Well, it's easy to assume the Nothing. <laughs> wow, those guys are really stupid bodyguards. Yep. Stealthy hotel man coming through. Don't gotta worry about me. I can get the job done in an instant. I'm gonna go undercover to find anything I can clean. Maybe if people are protecting something they don't want clean. Just saying. Damn, man. This is what a shithole looks like right here. Damn. Must be his, like, his room, apparently. And yeah. I gotta find a good way to kill him, because, you know, just getting up behind him and so That er is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. You know, just getting up behind him and firewiring him, you know, that just sounds kind of boring, because, you know, Jordan Cross is the main target, and, you know, I don't really want to do it that easily, because Ken Morgan was a secondary, so, you know, it don't really matter about him. So, but this guy, you know, I want to try and be a little fancy. So, yeah, I, I want to try and figure something out, so, if I do, I'll be right back. Okay, I figured out a way. Because, you know, I saw... Yeah, her name's apparently Dexy Barrett. Apparently, yeah, because, you know, she's working undercover for Thomas Cross, Jordan Cross's um, only son. Or not Jordan Cross. Well, yeah, Thomas Cross is the dad of Jordan Cross. So, yeah, I'm pretty much killing his son. That'd be really nice if I got to kill his, um, his dad in the next one. But, I don't know. Who knows what happens. So yeah, you pretty much see your wine glass over there, so... I'm glad I picked up the the rat poison. Oh, where were you going, man? Wait, well, no, I can't really approach her because she's going to see Mr. me. Mr. Cross, Dexy Barrett, I have the recording you're interested in. Well, your son listens to me, that's how. I told him I would destroy it. Still, it took some very hard work on my part. So that's the situation. I left a note for your boy. Who will you be sending? Hmm, scumbag lawyer, Ken Morgan. Dead. That's an expensive errand boy. I believe the price has doubled now. Because I have a lot of ex-husbands to feed. And, well, I just really dislike you, Mr. Cross. Your ruthless nature takes my breath away, even by my standards. In fact, I'm betraying your one and only son's trust just by talking to you. So pay up. Those are the terms. <clears throat> yeah, see what I mean? She's pretty much betraying Jordan. So, yeah, Jordan's father is pretty much paying Dexy to spy on Jordan. Because, you know, he's got a little bit of like a... The whole level is pretty much about a case of Hannah Highmore, you know, his death. Man. Fuck! So I'm back. All I had to do was pretty much load the place where I stopped. And yeah, I pretty much just had to listen to this conversation Cross, once more. I'll shut the hell up. So yeah, she's finally done talking. Hopefully Jordan Cross will cite me. Of course, out of all people, it had to be that little... Fuck, I got... Had to be the main target. Even though he's probably like 22, 21. He's probably an old guy. Or a, a really young guy, but still. I just hate being cited by, you know, just the stupidest people. Oh, okay. What is wrong with me today? Oh, this is not good. Ooh. What? God dang, that was close. Crap. Come here. Get your butt over there. Disrespecting Thomas Cross. Well, Thomas Cross ain't really in my business because, you know, he's a bad man. Ugh, God. 
Now the only thing... You see what I mean? I don't really want to go at him, like, straight away, because, you know... I need to get rid of this guy, because apparently where I need to go is in that door where he's guarding, or looking over. Yeah, I take back what I said about you not know, using his, well, bodyguards because, well, there's a place I have to go, and yeah, I can't get through it because, you know, some of the places, or one of the places, yeah, he pretty much are guarding it. Uh, of course. Of course, these two are enforcers. I mean, that's even better. Yeah, please go away, buddy. Now let me get in this damn room. Yeah, so what I need to do is get this. Alright, get that. Flash drive. I'm in Jordan Cross's bathroom. Wow. I'm having a good time here. Well, this is even better. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's all the way down there. Play this. This is pretty much what you gotta do. Look at Hitman. He's like, what the hell is this bitch doing? I could shoot him right now. Why was it just playing? I could see what happens if he sees me. Some sick game. I just smashed the drive now. Come on. Look at him. I'll never be safe. You don't see me in the mirror? Hi, bitch. Who are you? That's not the right question. Whatever they're paying you, I will double it, okay? It doesn't work that way. Not here. So wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to. You know? I was drunk. I, I, I snapped. In the window, I didn't think... But it happened. So, do I deserve to die because I made some stupid mistake? Or because I tried to get away with it? Either way, it won't make a difference. BAH! God, slow motion. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Look. He's floating on some magical chair. What the hell? That's a good way to die. Sure enough. Die on a, a magical chair while you just got shot. Or wherever the hell he shot him. Because I didn't see any blood. And for some reason, which I'm not really complaining, I didn't lose... I didn't pretty much get a bullet shot off for that. Well, I did, but it, I didn't lose one. So anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just a regular bodyguard. Just like all you weirdos. Except I'm better. And these two are just really weird. And bit nerds. Because, well, they're texting on their phone. 
and one guy's got his hands crossed like he's like he's some some badass or something. But he ain't nowhere near as badass as me. Hitman, the bodyguard. Oh God, he scared me. Come on, come on, just get out of here. Let's go. Hurry up, Hitman. I know there's a lot of stairs, but you gotta move your ass. I mean, quicker than it is right now. I mean, you gotta run like lightning speed. Like Sonic lightning speed. You ready? Okay, hang on. Let me close the door. Let me close the damn... I'm gonna make him run Sonic fast. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, we made it, finally. Okay, now let's get the... Mm, let's get out of here, because I... This level just made me really frustrated for some reason. The body of billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning at the funeral of his only son, claiming a position. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is... The game's tone. Ken Morgan and Jordan Cross. go that's it bangkok uh thailand finished jordan cross ken morgan dead oh yeah i forgot to kill the uh little recording system that controls all the cameras but yeah i killed them i did a little badass way with jordan cross i killed him pretty much just regular um fiber wire disguised as a hotel staff and yeah that's pretty much it we heard the about thomas cross and jordan cross's deaths Nothing about Ken Morton, because, well, who gives a shit about him? Because, you know, he had a bodyguard, but, you know, like, really. I don't really understand the point of that guy. He has something to do with the lawyer, I think, but I don't know. But, anyway, I'll see you on the next video. In is out.